So last year I started doing quite a bit more plug fishing for steelhead. Um, you know, it's it, a lot of guys don't like it because they don't they think they're sitting in the boat and they're not doing anything. But I don't like to do it for long periods of time. I like to just go through the best parts of the holes where I know the fish tend to sit. Especially if I'm you know one of the fourth or fifth boats down the river and I know that those fish have probably been fished over. Uh, chances are they haven't seen someone pulling plugs over their heads. So uh, I definitely think it gets me a fish or two that I that I wouldn't have got otherwise. Um, these Lama Glass, these certified pros, they're Kenai Quicks. Um, I use the XCC 802s. These are eight foot, 10 to 20 rods. They're super slow action. I absolutely love them. They're my favorite, favorite rod. Um, they were great for, you know, steelhead fishing in the Columbia, if you're fishing coonies on anchor. They were good for uh, back trolling these little mag lips. Uh, you know, you can just really tell. And then when you hook a fish on, they're super forgiving because they're so slow action. Um, and I don't like to do anything super fancy. I, I just have uh, the line counter reels. These are just Akuma line counters. and same 50 pound line I had on my spinning reels. Um, and I like to run them down to just a little bead. Um, and the only reason I put a bead on there, the only reason that matters is because if I use that, I can't reel the swivel into the eye. And if you reel the swivel right into the eye of the rod, sometimes it'll break the porcelain. So if you put a bead in there that's big enough, you can't reel the swivel in, it'll uh, sometimes save your, save your eye on the tip of your rod. So as far as leader goes, um, I don't like to be too cute about it. I just use straight 20 pound. Um, CXX, it's good stuff. It's really heavy, um, and I, you know, the, these fish, any fish that's going to come up and grab a plug isn't going to be, isn't going to be worried about your line. He's not a line shy kind of fish. So, um, and then just attach a little clip. So the cool thing about these setups is I can change the plug out as I needed to whatever I want to do. I, uh, I seldom have to change this piece of line at all. This, you know, mono bumper chunk in here, um, and you know, it works fantastic. I think it provides a little teeny bit of stretch. I don't like to tie just a blood knot from my braid to my mono because then you can actually reel the rod all the way to the tip of the plug. And more than once I've had someone reel all the way down to the plug and, and actually break the tip of the rod or rip the hooks out of the fish at the net because they didn't, they get excited and they reel it all the way to the fish. By having that little uh, swivel in there with the bead, it makes it so they can't reel any closer than that. And it keeps me from getting a little too close sometimes. Uh, as far as plug selection goes when it comes to steelhead fishing, you know, I'm certainly no expert at it. I've kind of come to the conclusion that you really have uh, two major colors you need in the arsenal, and it's silver and pink. Um, you know, and by when I say silver, I, I you know I kind of put blue in the silver color category. In that, I just want them to be. I want a plug like this when I don't want a bunch of paint, when the water's really clear, and I think that there's, uh, you know, I don't need to be extremely bright to get their attention. So a plug like th this plug has caught quite a few steelhead. Uh, other variations of you know the same thing, like a blue scale, blue pirate. Uh, these are these are a, little, a couple of custom ones I've had made, um, and then if I get a little bit, of, you know, if I get a little bit of color in the water and I want something to be a little a little brighter, you know, I can do something like this that's got you know a chartreuse nose, um, another little maglet, that, you know, pink back, pink ribs, uh, that seems to work pretty well, and then uh, obviously orange and silver works great, and then and then there's the whole pink arsenal. I mean, real misty river ones, these Doctor Death. You, you can't really go wrong. I mean, it doesn't matter what the water conditions are. For me, one of my rods, if not two of them, are definitely gonna still have a pink plug on them. Um, chances are I'm gonna have one or two blue and silvers and a pink one under most conditions. Um, you know, unless I get a plug that's just been hot doing something else and I got one that's just working. I mean, if you got a hunter, you put him out no matter what. But if, uh, if I didn't know any better and I was going somewhere I'd never been and trying something for the first time all year, I would definitely just put out a, a some kind of a metallic pink one. Uh, this particular plug probably accounted for a dozen fish last year, and he's got definitely got the battle scars to prove it.